Hey man, aren't you Mike from Mike's Manners? Yeah, that's me. Hey man, I know you that you keep uh, monitor lizards. So Absolutely. I got uh, this uh, Savannah monitor and this is my setup. What do you think of it? That's your setup? Why you? I'm gonna show you how to do this the right way. Come on with me. Okay. So here's my Merton's monitor setup. Um, you can see this is all custom made, all handmade by myself using Zupoxy over styrofoam. Here's one of my females there. And you can see that, the, the rigidity of that. It's really good, strong yeah, stuff. Really strong. And um, here's another female, possibly gravid, most likely. Big male down there, just chilling out in the water. Three hundred gallon uh, pond. I cut the front out of it, sealed it, and added glass, so you could witness all their behaviors under the water. Because Mertens do all of their stuff underwater. They do their uh, breeding, feeding, courtship. All a lot of their activities are done under the water. And here I got some Denisoni barbs and um, some Odessa barbs, fire mouth cichlids, which I love my fish as much as my lizards. Um, and here you'll see the little nest box that I have built for nesting females. You just open up this little trap door here. <laughs> get this girl to move on. And then you can see the entrance way into the nest box. And if you crack this a little bit and open this, you can see in. Heated soil, um, heated to 95 degrees, so from 95 on out to 82, gives them a choice of where they want to lay their eggs. Very important with granids. Going from the first one to the second one. Next one, this is uh, one half of the full enclosure. This is the male's separate cage. Uh, this is five feet by four feet by six feet high. Um, sliding glass door. And as you can see, my big beefcake of a male. He's right here. Come on, coming out. <laughs> Like, if you don't have mice for me, then no. Yeah. He's actually thinking about his girl right now. And you can see here, this is a pass-through that I use to cut the male away from the female uh, while she's nesting so it doesn't disturb her. And then here is my uh, female coming eye. And you can see she's a nice beast. Very good lizard. Look at that. Yeah. Cut you up with her claws, bud. <laughs> Put her back in. Those love slices. Yep. Yep. And uh, then you can see the rest of the enclosure here. Um, the lights, deep soil, that's two feet of dirt. Got a heater over here that heats the soil. That's where they nest, or she nests. And, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Those are some gigantic pieces of cork ground. Yeah, yeah. They get bigger, too. You'll see. All right, and here you'll see one of my hatchling coming eye. I've hatched out about 25 or 30 of these, and right now... It's hiding all the way to oh. the corner. I can barely see the spots. Okay, there you go. There you go. There he comes. <laughs> that's, that's a baby of the last ones you just saw. 
It's customized uh, whiskey barrel that I raise them up in, bring this to the shows to sell them. Right in the front. And here we have uh, my Aki enclosure. Um, I've bred these guys a couple times. They should have eggs hatching here pretty soon. Here you'll see a female. And this female here just laid a 9 egg clutch. And my male might be in that too. Oh yeah, I yeah. can actually see the tail right There's there. His tail. It's like, hey, look at my butt. <laughs> And this is uh, just a really nice enclosure for them, sandy soil, um, moist sandy soil underneath here. I have some wood that kind of holds the moisture in and they dig underneath it for nesting and uh, more humid conditions. A raise up enclosure for uh, Merton's monitors that I bred. These are my future breeders. This is 1.2 in here. And that's a female you're looking at right there. Um, and the male and the other female are down in the water here somewhere. Simple setup, basking lights for uh, basking, all water in the bottom with drains and filters. Um, easy peasy, keep everything nice and clean. It's very important. So here's some temporary caging, raise up cages. Here I've got uh, a trio of Ackies I've been raising up. They're about ready to move out of here because they are too big for this. So they're on their way into their new enclosure, which I'm in the process of building. And then we got another one up under here. Gonna see it. Huh? Hopefully he doesn't bite you. Nah. Uh, he ain't the one I'm worried about. That's good. All right. And here's um, where I raise my King Gorums. Actually, I raise them, I breed them. They do everything in this enclosure here. I have two gravid females. There's one of my females there. And then my other male and female are in the cork tube. Mm. Well, there you can, we can see. kind of see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> full of eggs, so she's. Shy. Man, Matter of fact, yeah. now I'll probably collect the eggs tomorrow when you're not here. No, no wonder why the babies are so so tiny. Yeah. I mean, these guys are so small. Yep. I and think they're here, about the size of my color lizards. Here's uh, some of my sulfur monitors, the hatchling sulfur monitors that I'm raising up for future breeders. Really cool animals, wild caught. They're shy. Um, that one there that you just saw is really good with me he comes out but they're scared of the camera and new face no big deal <laughs> and here until they're uh, ready to be sold they're up at the top there. oh yeah I can see it yeah. right there really cool lizards my uh, under the stairs cage that I raise up my uh, abigularis in and I know these are your favorites so you can go in there and get a good look. Okay, check this guys out. That white throat monitors. One day I will have one. Yep. As soon as I hatch some, I'll take care of you, bro. And here we have um, Varanus pilbarensis. This is my pilbara enclosure, all created with zoopoxy over foam. And you can see, I am getting real close with these. I think my female is gravid. Um, oh, that's, that's a male. Right and right down there, you might see the female's head, and she's getting ready to nest. So I'm got my fingers crossed on them. Man, there's some, some really awesome reps. And here's a little enclosure. I, I'm raising um, uh, Varanus kingorum. This is actually a leucistic animal, and I'm holding my leucistics back till I get 1.2. I 
for my own breeders and then I'll release some to the public. And here is my uh, Gill and I enclosure. It's my custom whiskey barrel. I bring this to the shows to show off my animals and sell them. And I just got three egg clutch out of this female, which was really not an easy feat for me anyways. I mean, it took me about a year to finally get eggs out of these. And uh, man, they were giant eggs for the size of the animals. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And here we got um, Varanus Glowardi, Kimberly Rock Monitors, uh, naturalistic setup like the outback of uh, the Kimberly region in Australia. Really cool animals. I've gotten several clutches out of these guys already. And in a minute here, we're going to look at one hatching, which is actually pretty cool. So this is my homemade bre beverage cooler uh, incubator. I have flex wide heat tape that runs down the sides, across the bottom and up the next side. Vivarium Electronics uh, controllers on there, um, lights, and uh, computer fan runs it all. And as you can see, I am loaded up with eggs. So there's a lot of eggs in here. So many eggs that I had to start another. Look at those. Yep. Those are giant. Yep. Mertens and Cumming Eye are the big ones. And if that wasn't enough. Yeah. I, I had to start space. up another uh, another incubator because I'm getting inundated with eggs, which is a really good thing. Enclosure. I bred my Cumming Eye in here. I bred a Bigularis in here. And currently I have Java sulfur monitors in here. Um, and this is where I will breed those guys as well. And you talk about big cork tubes, check them bad boys out. That's basically the entire tree. Yeah, it's a big piece. <laughs> All right, and this is the walk-in enclosure. I want you to go in there with your camera and take a look around and show everybody what's going on in here. Check this out. Basking log underneath the, the water shelf where I keep a water basin on a drain. You can see the drain. A 300 gallon tub of heated dirt for nesting. Basking sites, big logs. All for them. There, there's one inside the cage. Look at the size of this. <laughs> and here we got some uh, Hold back baby coming eye that I've been raising. Um, really cool, nice calm animals. Um, you can see they're really nice and tolerant of human interactions. Beautiful, beautiful animals. These guys will breed next year. Just really cool. See all that nice orange on its throat. Yeah. Really cool animals. I love my coming eye. <laughs> He's thinking, why, why yeah. am I missing out on some of the action? Food? There's two in that too. His head is poking out this other way. Yeah. There you go. He's, he's coming out now. Yeah. 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 Awesome. 
since he's the newest addition, he will be the only one for today that we're gonna show where he's eating. Oh yeah. Beautiful soft reminder. Chicken dinner. Yeah. All right, here's a, a non veranda that I have, the only non veranda I have. This is my buddy Gargantuan, and he's an alligator snapping turtle. I've had him for 20 years. He's just a big old beast. All right, guys, well, that was the facility of Mike's Munners. That was freaking amazing. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, just for your viewers to know that you can catch me at Mike's Monitors on Facebook, Michael Stefani on Facebook, Mike's Monitors on Instagram, Mike's Monitors on YouTube, Mike's Monitors.com. Um, and if you need any Polygem Zoopoxy, I do sell kits. Just get a hold of me at any one of those places. Oasi filters is what I use on all my fish tanks, uh, all my animal tanks. So if you need any Oasi or Polygem, contact me and I'll hook you up. Thank you. Nice. All right, guys. Well, I really hope that you guys enjoyed that video. You know, if you guys did, please make sure to give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't. And, you know, make sure to follow him on all of his uh, social, what's it called? Social platform? media. Yeah, platform. <laughs> yeah. But all right, guys. See you next time. And thanks so much for watching.